Hey everybody, it's Wednesday. We're going to do some hardcore gaming stuff today. The new trailer for Last of Us Part 2, kind of a pretentious or slightly pretentious name, but before I go on, you know what I'm going to say? Patreon, Patreon, you should become a member. Patreon, patreon.com slash Leanna K. YouTube demonetized my video from yesterday. Upheld it. So can't do news stuff anymore. Advertisers don't like educating people. So uh, let's talk about something frivolous like video games. Hey, we still care about that, right? Anyway, Last of Us 2, there's a new trailer out if you want to see it. And I'm not going to play it because I don't want to get copyright striked, but I'm going to talk about my impressions of it. Um heavily leverages Ellie's romantic relationship off the top again. And I'm seeing this go one of two ways. Either I, I, I personally, as somebody who is very LGBTQ2 plus friendly, um, I don't like the attention to Ellie's, like this amount of attention paid to Ellie's romantic relationship in the trailers because a heterosexual person would not have that much attention paid to her romantic life, especially as a teenager. And so it's bordering on uh, the fetishizing of the fact that she's a lesbian and that's pissing me off. Um, it, it kind of strikes me rightly or wrongly as something that, um, straight people do to show how woke they are regarding gay people. And that's really annoying. I also have a bad feeling that they might kill the girlfriend as the thrust to Ellie's hero's journey so they can do a, a two, a two player swap out mechanic with the girlfriend early on and then Joel later on. And we finally see Joel in the Blinken trailer at the end. Thank God. I'm assuming it's going to be some kind of cliche. Ellie gets mad at him and never wants to see him again. And then he comes in and they finally work together and she realizes he's not all that bad. I got a bad feeling that's what they're going to do with it, but it is a teenage story. So a certain amount of cliche is okay. But the little snippets of gameplay I see um, around the sort of like rebooted Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, torture porn style gameplay, it, I don't know, it just looks like a lot more murdering of humans and a lot less cool um, kind of mushroom zombie stealth kills crafting thing and it it looks like there's still I mean there's going to be a lot of spatter it's going to be very violent so um I hope the gameplay and there's reason to hope that the gameplay will carry through the cheese ball tugging at heartstrings elements of the story but I'm concerned that there will not be the depth of storytelling that the first game had. It's very possible that the first game was something of an accident. Um, that core story between, you know, Joel and Ellie, the loss of Joel's daughter, uh, Ellie's sort of, uh, you know... Uh, never knowing any world but this hellhole she's been born into. Um, it, you know, you, you can't do that. Oh, she's the cure more than once. So where, where are they going to draw the emotional depth from? We will find out. Maybe, maybe they know what they're doing. Maybe they have something that will be equally as deep and universal and, and, tied into familial love instead of the overdone Hollywood cliches of romantic love and loss. Hopefully, hopefully they will still pull that out. Like I said, I'm, I'm very disappointed on the emphasis on her being a lesbian that the marketing is done. Not because I'm anti 
LGBTQ2+, two means two spared up in Canada, but because I'm very pro LGBTQ+, and I think that, you know, same-sex relationships should not be treated any different than, you know, straight relationships, and there would not be nearly as much emphasis on teen kissing if Ellie was kissing boys. And that's just, I mean, maybe she's an adult now, who knows how, but still, she's a fairly young looking person and there's a huge emphasis on her dating life. That gets you demonetized on YouTube if it's straight people. Um, I, I am concerned that it is a sign they've lost the plot. Now, like I've said, maybe there'll be enough, like, hacking zombies in the head with axes to make the game still worth playing. But my expectation right now is that there will not be the, you know, come out of nowhere surprising depth of storytelling that they had in the first one. Um, and part of that is that, you know, the storytelling in, in the more recent Uncharted games has been meh as well. So hopefully I'm wrong. I'm setting expectations low because um, I want to enjoy the game. I hope there will be some interesting gameplay mechanics and, and not just, you know, ooh, pretty graphics. Um, we'll see. There hasn't been that much about it. We don't have that long to wait now. Uh, it'll be February. So let me know what your thoughts are. What are you expecting based on the trailer? Like I said, I will link to the trailer. Um, what are your thoughts? What are your concerns? What are you looking forward to? Um, let me know. Leave a comment, but also Patreon, Patreon. You should become a member. Patreon, patreon.com slash Thanks for watching.